Good morning, friends, and welcome to a very special session of Mindful Living today. This is the first, we have been conducting these weekend sessions for over two years now. This, this is the first one that we are doing at 8 a.m. on Sunday morning, and there is a different energy. I am so happy to see so many of you join early in the morning and welcome you uh, once again with uh, from the bottom of my heart to this session. The session today is very special one. Uh, this is a session on Surya Namaskar, which is also a first time that we are doing a, doing a session. Sun, as you would be aware, is the only source of energy that we have on this planet. Uh, everything, you know, all of our energy. And in case the sun were to not come out even for a day, uh, you know, everything on the earth would freeze in less than 24 hours. So it's very important. And this asan is paying obeisance uh, to the sun god or to the sun energy. And this is a very, very powerful uh, asan. And we have Shruti with us, uh, who is going to be uh, taking us through the uh, various intricacies of the uh, Surya Namaskar. Uh, Shruti is an award-winning designer from NIFT Delhi. And uh, she then took a call after working in the industry for about 15 years to pursue her dreams and true happiness. And she uh, got uh, qualified as a yogi, uh, you know, as a yoga teacher from the Yoga Institute Bombay. And uh, she has also done her certifications in wellness from Harvard Medical School. So welcome to you, Shruti, uh, for this awesome session on Surya Namaskar. Shruti, are you there? Uh, friends, uh, while she is... Yes, yes, I think I was on mute. Good morning, oh. everyone. Good morning, Ashish. Thanks for inviting me for today's session. I'm so oh. honored, really grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Shruti. And uh, friends, many of you are joining us for the first time. If you're joining us for the first time, please type FT in the chat box. If you're joining a mindful living session for the first time, please type FT in the chat box. Thank you, Dharnam Ji. Thank you, Ujjal. Thank you, Parag. Uh, so friends, so since many of you are joining us for the first time, I'll take a minute to introduce myself. My name is Ashish Kumar, and I'm the founder of Mindful Living. I started Mindful Living in 2018 after working in the corporate sector for over 25 years in senior management roles with organizations like Tata Group, uh, Marsh India, HCL, and a home healthcare venture started by the Dabo family. During the years of my working in the corporate sector, I saw at close quarters how stressed the employees are in the corporate sector and how this stress is taking a toll on their health, happiness, and well being. And I thought to myself that as a certified mindfulness meditation teacher, there is the message of living mindfully needs to be taken to the corporate sector. And I formed Mindful Living with a vision to impact the lives of 1 million uh, working professionals. And over the last four years, we have conducted over 300 sessions for the employees in leading organizations like Aditya Birla Group, uh, Tata Group, Schneider, Signify, Airbnb, EXL, Swiggy, IBM, and many more. Friends, a lot of people are joining us. Just allow me a minute to let them in. And the session today is being organized as a part of our community initiative, which we started in April 2020. At the onset of COVID, few of my friends reached out to me and requested me to conduct a session for them to help them deal with the anxiety uh, that the lockdown had uh, imposed on all of us, the uncertainty and the anxiety that it was causing. So I conducted a session. I'll request everybody to mute themselves, please. Uh, so I conducted a session for them on a weekend. Uh, they liked it. One thing led to the other. And in the, oh, in the uh, in last two, to two and a half years, we have now become a vibrant community of over 3,000 people who connect every weekend to learn uh, about practicing mindfulness and applying it in our daily lives. The session today is a part of the series of sessions that we conduct every weekend. These sessions are complementary, and the Mindful Living community is a safe place for people to come, share, 
learn and grow together. In case you would like to be a part of this awesome community, please click on the link that we are sharing in the chat and join our community. This way you will stay updated on the awesome sessions we, are, we conduct every weekend. And towards the end of the session, I'm gonna talk about this special session that we have put together for the coming Saturday. So be a part of this community and uh, stay updated on all the awesome work that we do. Uh, on that note, I will now invite Shruti to take the session forward. Good morning, everyone. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining in on a Sunday morning while half of the world is already sleeping. Uh, just a second. I'll just make it the gallery view so I can see everyone. Um, I'm so happy to see such wonderful souls. And I'm sure so many of you are so learned and already uh, so high in wisdom and have been practicing yoga for years, as I was already listening to some of you before the session started, that you have been into so many things and practicing so much. So really humbled that still you could, you know, take out time to join my session. Uh, yes, uh, I think lockdown and COVID uh, taught us a lot of things. Uh, I became a yogi during lockdown. Till then, I was a designer and uh, have been doing a lot of work in retail space for last 15 to 17 years. And fitness was just a, a physical workout for me to keep myself fit. I used to hit gym or go for morning run, walk, just to keep myself fit. And there, were no, there was no routine. Uh, the eating time, the sleep time was hampered because I was into events industry. Uh, and yoga was something for me that I, I planned to do only after I turned 60. Because then I thought maybe I wouldn't be so great in running or gymming so much so i would start yoga when i would turn 60. but somehow yoga just happened during lockdown and something happened inside me there was there was a huge transformation that happened uh in six months to one year time everything changed right from my thoughts my emotions my feelings my day quality my energy levels and my sleep quality as a teenager, I used to suffer from insomnia and then I slept well for 15 years. And then last to last year, again, during COVID, my dad felt uh, ill. He had cancer, um, a bad reason to come into yoga, but definitely a beautiful transformative journey that has started now for me because uh, my whole purpose of life has changed because of this. I feel I need to transform myself first uh, so that you know I can help others transform. Uh, that is my agenda and that is my everyday purpose. Keep transforming myself every single day, become my best version, better version every single day so that I can also share those learning with others and help them, uh, you know, to become better in their lives. And for me now, fitness is just not the physical aspect. It's a heady concoction of mental well-being, good sleep, good emotional health, and of course, physical health as well. And uh, when I was studying mind-body medicine in Harvard Medical School, uh, there was a lot of science that backed up all the spiritual studies that I did in uh, the Yoga Institute. Uh, so, you know, I studied uh, mind scans, how our mind structure changes, how neuroplasticity changes, the brain, uh, you know, the wiring can be changed. There are a lot of research and uh, a lot of scientists uh, all over the world who have proved this, that yoga, meditation, mindfulness, all these things impact the limbic system of our brain, changes the, you know, the entire brain wiring, which is called neuroplasticity. And now it is, as we all know, it has become globally so popular. Even topics like breath work and, you know, all these new age terms actually have a base in our ancient Indian wisdom, uh, which is yoga sutras maybe some of you have already read yoga sutras already which teaches us how to do yoga on the mat and off the mat till now for me it was mostly on the mat as a part of the workout and now i feel actually 95 percent is the yoga is what you do off the mat and when you do it off the mat even the practice becomes so experiential on the mat I have been practicing yoga only for last one year in this way. Before that, it was most mostly power yoga and other forms of aerobic workouts that I used to do. But now my entire practice has become so beautiful. And this is what I'm here to share 
uh, with you all. So uh, uh, just to begin, uh, before we begin, I would like to know from you if there is anything you would like to share with me before we begin the uh, session today. Otherwise, we'll keep the sharing part towards the end of the session. I would request you all to keep your videos on in the later part of the session when we are going to practice together. All right, so let me begin. I'll just share my screen. All right. Can you all see my screen? You may give me a thumbs up or just write in the chat box so that I know. Okay. Um, so I call this session, Let My Soul Be Full of Sunshine. What are Surya Namaskars? Sun salutation. It is a very systemic, systematic technique that combines 12 asanas typically as a, a classic Ashtanga style. It is usually considered to be done out in morning, ideally in morning, because it harnesses the pran shakti, the life energy, which is abundant at dawn, because sun rises at in the morning. So that is the best time to practice Surya Namaskars. And ideally, if possible for you, go out and nature and do to feel the real magic. And the days when it's not possible, you can do it indoors as well. And it usually uh, works on all the main chakras but its main role is, uh, it, it plays the main role to, you know, ignite the solar plexus chakra, which is just behind the navel. And it is also called our second brain, where resides our gut, called the second brain. And because this chakra is directly related to the sun. So solar plexus has been given huge importance in Surya Namaskar's practice. Now, why should you do Surya Namaskar? We all know there are lots of benefits of yoga and Surya Namaskar in general. Uh, but specifically, Surya Namaskar is because it's a combination of 12 asanas. It works on all the body parts together. So we are also working on our flexibility as well as we are also strengthening, uh, toning down, um, toning our muscles. It improves posture. I have personally experienced this because of long sitting hours. For so many years, I used to have desk work. I used to have this hump at the back side and it would never go away. And because I used to carry my laptop bag on one side of the shoulder all through the day, my, you know, the shoulder blades had all the shoulder, they were tilted. You know, my physiotherapist told me your left is up and the right shoulder has gone down because of carrying so much of weight of the bag for 15 years or more than that. Uh, only in six months, I could see drastic improvement in my posture. And I give this credit to Surya Namaskars. If done with proper techniques, you can actually correct your posture within no time. Insomnia, amazing result in sleep, beautiful sleep it gets. But of course, you have to practice consistently. Abhyas, 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 as yoga says, keep doing practice, keep letting go. Don't worry for the outcome. Abhyas, veragya, abhyas, veragya. So you have to come on the mat, do your practice and then surrender. And within no time, you'll see that, you know, all the aspects of your life change, including sleep, which is so important. The topmost thing needed for our well-being. Great skin and hair uh, improves all the functions of the internal organs. Helps burn excess fat for sure. Thankfully, I was always blessed to be not so fat. But, uh, you know, there's always a, an agenda of reducing some kgs in gym. Uh, and it's like a plateau. You keep reducing, keep gaining. But for me, yoga has helped so much to maintain. I eat whatever I want to eat, definitely mindfully. But I have never indulged in food of my choices so much as I do now. Because yoga is that backbone and supporting me so well in maintaining my health goals. So yes, eat mindfully and practice on the mat. It helps relax our mind. Definitely, it has direct impact on our mental health. It, as I keep repeating, it is not physical workout, also a mental workout. Improves blood circulation. Uh, and the last one I can't see on my screen. Yes, helps build mental focus. And this is my personal favorite, gives happiness. Happiness for no reason. No, you know, some days, you know, I'll be just smiling throughout the day. 
and the other person would ask me what is it why are you smiling and i just wouldn't know the circumstances are the same the life's ups and downs are the same everything is the same but something inside me has changed which has never changed before so i'm not against any gym workouts i love my weight training workouts i i love all the different kind of workouts that we have today what i'm trying to establish here is also include some yoga as part of your daily routine at least practice 2 to 3 days in a week because this works beautifully on your mental and emotional health and you would feel some days that there is this inner flutter of joy and you're just happy for no reason and you're just smiling you know while sitting alone you're working and you'll be just smiling this has happened with me and i know so many people who are working and you know practicing with me also go through the same thing same experience so it is very profound and very very powerful now sun as we all know definitely gives us vitamin d because a lot of us are taking these vitamin d supplements these days because we are mostly indoors uh circadian rhythm is such a powerful concept that is our inner body intelligence our body we have inner body clock that should always be in tune and in sync with sun and when this is disrupted because of our you know being indoors uh, our erratic lifestyle schedules our eating habits are uh, not so consistent uh, sleep a wake sleep cycle we are eating at different times every day you know there is no rhythm of the body that there should be in ancient times they used to call it dincharya have a great dincharya and today uh, somewhere that is not uh, strong enough so when this gets affected the entire health is affected if our inner body intelligence imagine if that is disturbed so many things get disturbed we can talk on this topic for whole day and that would be not enough there is so it's such a vast topic but to give you a crux this inner body cycle is directly related to sun so imagine if this is set if your inner body clock is set with sun you can effortlessly feel great all the time effortlessly you don't have to worry about sleeping you don't have to worry you have hit the bed and get anxiety or oh, what if i don't sleep some people sleep well but then they don't wake up so fresh they might sleep for 8 hours 10 hours but wake up you know very lethargic they would need a caffeine kick to wake them up you right they would they are dependent on so many things they would be on social media as soon as they wake up so all of us are getting impacted with our current lifestyle issues so circadian rhythm says that wake up at the same time sleep at the same time in today's modern scenario yes we got to be a little bit flexible but still try to be disciplined at least from you know monday to friday and then half in our hair and there is fine but let's not do like one day we are waking up at 6 and the other day we are waking up at 9 because you've not slept during the night similarly sleep time has to be same key try to keep your exercise time same if you are a morning person exercise in morning every day at the same time if you really want to work on this rhythm okay so you got to work harder uh in first setting it up and then you can maintain it be little flexible in uh, you know due course if you are evening person you exercise in evening then please stick to your evening routine don't do like you know you are working out one day in the morning next day in the evening then afternoon so don't do that eating time try to keep it you know uh, uh again same so for example lunch could be between 1 and 2 that much flexibility is fine but not like one day you're having at 12 other day you are busy meetings and eating at 4 so that's again is disturbing your cycle so try to eat on the same time and you could just see this beautiful diagram which depicts uh how we should you know uh, so set outside as you can read look out of your windows first thing we should see the light coming in our eyes and not the mobile blue light we, if even if you're not able to go out just open the window of your room and look outside gaze outside look at nature let the daylight enter your eyes let your body know that this is morning otherwise how would our body know usually our body wakes up with light and it sleeps when there is darkness so wake up like that wake up with natural light and then set your time for eating and just go through this diagram i can share this diagram in the group for you to study more and then when you have time read more about this i'm not going in depth in this but i have given you a glimpse of what the cycle is all about so there are typically 12 asanas in yoga postures there are 
uh, various styles of yoga as we all know what i practice is ashtanga classical ashtanga yoga or ashtanga and vinyasa but definitely there are various styles of yoga and hence there are a lot of variations that happen in surya namaskars as well uh, today we are going to just discuss a very classic surya namaskar style which starts with a uh, pranam asana which is the prayer pose so here again um so for us for some of us it could be just a workout in which we have to just go down do pranam asana and arch and go up right but if you bring in all these essence imagine how beautiful one posture can become so we'll take example of this first asana which is the prayer pose the mantra is om mitraye namaha and the meaning of this is one who is friendly to all so sun is friend to all of us equally to all the beings on earth equally it's given equal amount of power energy nourishment to everybody so it's friend to all so here we are saying thank you to lord sun or you could say the energy thank you to universe to the energy to the divine uh, ultimate truth that is there up uh, to nourish us every day we are saying thanks for being our companion in life thanks for being so friendly to us so with that feeling with that bhav of graceful offering and this namaste mudra is also called anjali mudra it activates the subtle chakras of our fingertips so you know everything is activated in a subtle manner when we are joining our hands and it's also said that when you join hands it balances your left and right hemisphere of the brain the moment you are in this position the brain gets balanced and automatically your bhava changes suddenly you will see there is a shift of your feeling suddenly you are paying a tribute the feeling of graceful offering and the breath is inhale and exhale usually you keep your hand down when you start so you inhale and when you join your hands you exhale exhale let go and say thanks and the chakra related to this is heart chakra anatha chakra chakra a heart chakra is the chakra which is a symbol of gratitude of love of empathy of forgiveness lot of self love receiving and giving love that is heart chakra so imagine you're starting your surya namaskar practice with this humbleness with opening your heart chakra with setting a tone for self love because uh before giving to others we first have to give to ourselves right dusro ki jaise pehle khud ki jay kare right so we have to begin with ourselves yoga says begin with yourself and the benefit of this particular uh pose is ba it balances the body it calms down your nervous system and as i said it balances the brain hemisphere as well so basically if you all know about yoga sutras uh, some of you might be there in the group with us which we have recently formed for yoga sutras for those who have not studied uh, read about it so yoga sutras is a uh, 195 sentences written by uh, compiled by maharshi patanjali around 5000 years ago which talks about uh, so many things to be done before you come on your mat to practice it says you have to first follow for example non violence towards yourself and others be truthful or be a non stealer uh do a, a cleaning of your mind so you clean your space but you also clean your mind and how do you clean a mind is a process to it you do all these things you declutter your space you clean everything uh you know a lot of things you do a lot of self study and then in the end you first surrender you let go you develop a habit of doing everything as per your capacity but then surrender let go after you have equipped knowledge of doing all these nuances called five yamas and five niyamas the five don'ts and do's of life then you become an adhikari then you become eligible to come on the mat and actually start practicing asana that's what yoga says and for us you know we just think that you know it's just a workout you have to come on the mat and do some bending and stuff but if you combine all this knowledge even on the mat non violence on the mat means that you go do things as per your capacity don't overdo 
because they sometimes just overdo our workouts also become little non-violent towards ourselves we want to meet our goals so fast i want to lose weight in one month so i will do 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 but then i'm i might not be consistent because then i'm tired that is a challenge we usually face we'll be very motivated in the beginning and then there wouldn't be any consistency because we just get non-violent towards ourselves so be non-violent don't overdo but then yoga also says do tapa tapa means pain and pleasure you got to have some pain to get pleasure so pain here doesn't have a negative connotation pain means for example there is a day i don't want to do anything i don't want to work out i'm not feeling great still i make sure i come on my mat say no to everything else so i have to say no to my favorite things that are happening right for me that's tapa right what if i'm invited to some place and i really want to go but i know this is my time to practice i'm just giving a very small example i say no to that thing that's tapa because i really want to go but i'm not going because i give priority to this i come on my mat and the pleasure i derive out of it is great so it's tapa tapa is related you know it it is how how saints used to uh, do practice of samadhi in mountains they wouldn't know the change of weather around them they wouldn't feel the hunger so you know that's the tapa they used to do to derive the pleasure that they used to seek in the end which is samadhi so for us people who are part of this worldly life for us tapa could be you know saying no to many things to still going against our wishes sometimes because we know the outcome is going to be beautiful so yoga says do tapa only then you will benefit right today i think you all are perfect examples it's sunday morning there must be nice breakfast cooking in the kitchen uh, you know you must be having your a uh, family waiting for you outside and thinking why are you are sitting in the session on a sunday morning but this is tapa right you just thought it's just one hour but this is going to benefit so i'm going to leave all that for now i'm going to attend it out of the session let me do this first so hats off to all of you i think uh, i just realized that actually we all are practicing that on sunday morning so bring all these feelings on the mat and then see how your workout changes you should not feel tired after a workout but energized that's what yoga does so each asana has so much to do so much right uh so i'm just going through uh, the all the asanas now quickly because we cannot discuss each and our asana so much in depth today in a future we are going to have lot of sessions related to this but today we just wanted to give you a holistic view of how a practice should done and we'll do a small practice also right now so the second pose uh, you must be knowing already it's uh, called hast uttan asan third is padhas asana forward fold then is ashva sanchalan asana uh, falak asana also called dand asana also called chaturanga it's a plank or a stick flow pose which is the fifth asana ashtang namaskar which is the salutation with eight parts of the body touching the floor bhujang asana also called cobra asana adho mukshan asana parvat asana and in our gym language it is called downward facing dog i've written the english uh, uh, translations also and then the, these are the last four asanas uh, which are repeated uh, they are the same as the first four so total there are eight but when we repeat them and do in a sequence they form a set of 12 asanas now do you want to experience yes shall we do it okay so what i plan is i'll just give a quick demo uh, about the correct techniques so uh friends i have been doing surya namaskar for last 10 years if i have to say not very regularly but more as a workout in which i just go down go up go down uh but recently you know i have learned beautiful in depth techniques how each asana should be done as part of my uh teacher training course in yoga institute if i have to teach one asana i might take 2 hours to teach one asana this is how we used to do we used to take 10 days to perfect one asana 10 days for one asana so imagine i have taken 3 to 4 months 3 to 4 months in learning all the 12 asanas each posture has 10 to 12 techniques every posture needs those 10 to 12 techniques even bending down needs 10 to 12 techniques to do it correctly but i am going to do my best whatever i can do in next 5 to 10 minutes to tell you the main techniques see if you are already doing that way 
if you think there is a takeaway, you may write a note. Uh, maybe all of you are already doing wonderfully, but even if there's small thing that you can pick up that, okay, maybe this is something which I'm not doing and I can do, it'll enhance your daily practice. That is my entire goal. Okay. So I'm going to just demonstrate once or twice, and then we can practice it together with the mantras. So quickly, uh, just, I'll just take two more minutes, Ashish. I'll just share uh, my screen now. And uh, so uh, we plan to do more sessions in future because today it was more about talking and uh, we can go in detail. So we are planning a master workshop series in which we are going to have three sessions. The session one will cover set A, which is classical, a uh, classic Ashtanga style, which will cover all the 12 asanas in depth with correct techniques, uh, with all the 12 mantras, the affirmations related to that asana uh, in tune with the meaning of each mantra. Every mantra has a beautiful meaning behind. So we are going to have those intentions with each asana. Uh, opening that particular, that respective chakra, we will understand the meaning of that chakra and we will bring in that experience with that particular asana. What kind of bhav? Like for example, when we do padhastasana, which is the second posture, bending down, uh, the mantra is Om Surya Nama and there we are surrendering. So there is the bhav of vairagya, letting go. And you will realize once you start practicing like this, it also impacts the other phases of your life. Your simple morning walk might change. You know, there were times when I was, would be doing morning walk, making a grocery list in my mind, talking to somebody on call, not even observing the nature around. That used to be an activity of just walking and making a to-do list of the day, right? When you start doing these things, your entire behavior changes towards practicing other things in life. How you are eating, how you're responding to people, how you're doing small, small things during the day. So all these bhavas also impact those things. My morning walk is now more about looking outside, looking at nature, looking at leaves, hearing that small, tiny sound of the bird chirping somewhere. And yes, there are a lot of thoughts coming in, but attending very passively, like an observer, not getting involved in th those thoughts. So even a 20 minutes daily walk changes. So I'm just giving an example that when you practice this on the mat, your life changes off the mat, not just on the mat. Your entire day, your behavior as a personality, you change off the mat. So that's the power of doing this this way on the mat. So we are going to do in-depth talk and practice of uh, practicing yoga sutra, uh, 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 practicing, yes, yoga sutra on the mat, mixing it with our workouts. So perfecting the entire experiential flow of 12 asanas in this session one. And definitely we all know the benefits. It has benefits you know, on physical, mental, and emotional level. The second one uh, is called Be a Warrior, which is our session two, which will cover the set B. And it will have additional asanas, uh, like Uttanasana, Chaturanga, Urdhmukshwanasana, the Veer Bhadrasana series, Trikonasana, Parsokonasana series. And also there is a beautiful concept of doing standing Shavasana in between the Surya Namaskar. So if you are doing your capacity is to do 10 sets together or five sets uh, in the beginning, you take a break with Shavasana, gain the energy back from the sun, come on your mat again, do five more, then do a standing Shavasana. There is a way of doing that. Gain the energy back, come on the mat, do 10 more. So this way you can divide your Surya Namaskar and you wouldn't realize that earlier you were doing just five and now you can do 20. But the idea is doing it properly, not just doing it like a cardio. To do it properly. So we are going to do uh, additional uh, you know, asanas and this is little on high on intensity but I believe in the idea to do it very slowly. Each asana has to be experienced and perfected. Once you know that you now you can increase your speed then start increasing the speed gradually. Okay so this is a be a warrior which is the session two. And the session three is the animal flow in which we are going to have a lot of other asanas involved, which is, you know, 
uh, the lizard pose, the pigeon pose. So in Hindi, it's called Pristasana, Rajkapotasana Siri, the frog pose, the Mandukasana. It's a mixture of at least 16 to 17 to 20 postures combined into one set of Surya Namaskar. So you might take 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do just one set. But that itself, it's so beautiful. You don't need to do anything else with it. The day you're practicing this, your entire yoga has happened in Surya Namaskar itself. And it is beautiful again, because we are having that intention. We are doing with feelings and bhav and meaning and chakra. It is going to be beautiful because this is something which I can't talk about to explain. I'm, fi I'm finding it very challenging to describe you how this feels because this is an experience. It cannot be talked about. This has to be experienced. So you would know it once you are on the mat and you do it with us. So again, the, the benefits are huge and definitely mind body healing. If the mind is healed, body will automatically heal on its own because our body has that inner intelligence to heal itself. So it is complete mind body healing and peace and joy. Let's not underestimate the power of peace and joy. Actually, it brings peace and joy is all I can say. So that's all from my side about the sessions that we are planning in future. Back to Ashish. Thank you so much, Shruti, for such an awesome session. Uh, friends, if you uh, like what Shruti shared with us, please show her some love, thumbs up, clap, whatever. But please express yourself and share with us how you like the session. And uh, we will also like to have your feedback. We really value your feedback. So we are sharing the link to the feedback form while you have been sharing your feedback with us. We would appreciate you taking 30 seconds and uh, filling out this feedback form. Uh, your feedback is very valuable to us. Once you have filled out the feedback form, please type FD in the chat box so that we know you have filled out the feedback form. And while you are filling out the feedback form, I'll continue sharing with you some information about the workshop that you're so eagerly waiting for, because I understand there's a constraint of time and we just have 10 minutes left. You already have taken a decision to move your life to the next level by coming for this workshop at 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning. If you want to climb further, make an investment in yourself. And that is... Uh, what Warren Buffet says, he's that uh, amongst the 10 most richest people in the world. And he says the best investment you can make is in yourself because it gives infinite returns. And the investment that we are talking about is investment of time and investment of money. And being a corporate professional myself, I understand the importance of delivering very high return on time invested and very high return on uh, the money invested. So we assure you, we promise you that this workshop will give you both. Uh, there are three sessions that we have planned for you on three Sundays, uh, 21st, 28th and 4th September and a bonus handholding session, which we'll be announcing towards the end on 4th September, we'll announce the date for the next one. And the time is going to be a little easier for you at 9 a.m. so that you, know, you don't have to really pull yourself out of the bed early in the morning. So 9 to 10 a.m., uh, three weekends, and we will be taking, please put yourself on mute. We'll be taking question answers towards the end of the session. Uh, Shruti will be taking, uh, through, uh, taking us through all the intricacies and the benefits of this awesome, awesome uh, asana, which is called the king of asans, you know, once we do. And all of this comes at a very nominal uh, investment of rupees 14.99. If you want to gift a session to somebody or join for a single session yourself. And for the three sessions plus one bonus handholding session, only 2,999. And in case you would like to avail of a one-to-one uh, -one coaching session with Shruti, then the package is a nominal 4,999 rupees. This gets even better for those who want to take action and uh, join today. In that case, the, the, this, there is an offer of 500 rupees off and the, pri the corresponding prices are mentioned here, 999, 2499 and 4499. And you could pay TM or Google Pay to Ruchi at the numbers mentioned here. You could take a screenshot uh, or just remit the fees and share the screenshot with us. And we will welcome you formally to the group. Uh, one of the questions that often gets asked to us is, 
what if I am not able to attend a session live, in which case we will share the recording of the session with you and you could watch it. And if you have any questions, you could uh, ask Shruti directly in the bonus session or otherwise after the next session that is there. We are so sure about the quality of work we do that we are very happy to offer you a money back guarantee. If after attending a session, you find that this is not something that you're committed to, doesn't resonate with you, we offer to give you your money back 100%. No questions asked. That's our commitment. Sharing these uh, investment amounts with you for one last time and the numbers so that you can let us know uh, uh, how to, uh, you know, when you, once you've remitted, we will welcome you in. And uh, that's about it. From our side, we open the session up for Q&A uh, to hear from you uh, how you, if you have any questions about the practice. Thank you, friends, for giving your feedback. Yes, Dayalji. Dayalji, please unmute yourself. We can't hear you. First of all, thank you for being as a part of this wonderful session. Excellent. Like, you know, yes, yes we are improving day by day with these sessions. Uh, we're just living a mundane life. Now we are taking to the left, <laughs> higher level of consciousness. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, coming to the Surya Namaskar, like what Shruti did, it be uh, not even 1% of what she does. Of course, is years of practice and all. Now, with these, uh, whatever asanas we will be doing in these sessions, which we are planning to join it. So, uh, will they be that? Because we are not that flexible. Well, just say, just say, we body mein jang lag gai hai. <laughs> to usko to peel off, it will take uh, this thing little effort and time. And uh, I being uh, 64 years old, is it uh, uh, advisable? Yes. Uh, my mom is here. Thanks for joining. See, she had the similar question because of her back pain. Uh, she left doing yoga so much. Uh, and now she started again. In fact, she has improved the hump she used to have on her back by just doing few things correctly. Now, for example, that forward bend is a perfect example because we just do, we just bend like this, keeping the hump here. We don't know that we have to keep our sternum out, how to extend the spine and then do. When you do it with that, in fact, everything will get corrected. And then you can always do as per your capacity. In the beginning, you have to listen to your body just do it and slowly slowly once you know you 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 perfect that particular asana automatically your body will support you and then you will realize you're just getting better day by day when i started i had multiple issues because i had not done it this way i had just not known all these things all these techniques and now every day i feel you know today i'm better than yesterday so age is just a number there are so many people I know who are at the age of 70 and 75 who are doing aerial yoga with me in my class and they are better than me. Imagine, there's a woman who comes for aerial yoga, she's 68 or 70. So age is just a number. Just no, listen all, to your it, body and start yeah. doing it is what I would say. Wherever you are, in whatever, wherever you are, just start from here. It will only get better. Yeah, definitely. Like, you know, yeah. we don't feel that uh, age, yeah. but uh, this is yeah. something very little new. Yeah. In the advanced, I will say, this yoga session. We have been doing yogas, but in a lighter tone and in a very, you know, no pain, no gain. Like, it is not, yeah. not that to that extent. I would say this is simpler than that. Okay, great. Yes, that's my personal experience. Because when you're doing it correctly, it becomes simple. It becomes simple for your body with greater outcomes. Yeah, and definitely. Yeah. I believe in doing very slow in the beginning because doing it slow uh, completely in that particular afternoon feeling it has more benefits than doing it in cardio and you can always do it in cardio once in a week once you have uh, you, you have understood how to do it you can increase the speed that will automatically happen so yes, my sir. style of stars is very slow in the beginning that's beautiful you can immediately feel it like a couple of times we did this surah and i can immediately feel burps in my body <laughs> See, in the beginning, there'll be a little pain because any new workout that you start will give some pain. Yeah. But it's that's a, puri a purification pain. process. Yes. I call it a good pain. Good pain, yes. Yes, Definitely. yes. Then then I would like happen. to share one thing. Like I've gone through yeah. a lot of tough things in the mind, this thing, depression, not very serious, but eventually yoga and meditation and these, of course, mindful living, these are definitely like uplifting and uh, uh, like 
bringing us from the say, you know, semi-conscious to the consciousness state. Absolutely. I'm in fact so thankful to Mindful Living Community because I'm also part of it and just now started sharing, uh, you know, I've started doing these sessions with them. Uh, I, I attend so many trainings there and I have a habit of combining all my trainings together into one one piece. That's, that's so true. I have that's done true. a lot of probably I've done mind body uh, courses there. I've done the chakra workshop there that recently happened. So somehow my uh, knowledge has increased so much because of that. And I'm trying to bring in all that knowledge now on the mat as well. So all my, in fact, yoga practice has changed after I've done those sessions with mindful living, because now I'm combining everything together into one piece. And that itself is so powerful. And that is what I'm excited about and here to share with everybody that Thank let's you. do it. I'm experiencing it. Why don't you also experience this? Because this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> There is just one thing I would like to share. You're not 64 years old. You are 64 years young. I have <laughs> seen your video of playing PT. Nobody will yeah. call you old, sir. You are young, 64. Yeah, years. thank you so much. I've, I'll share it with you. Even I never feel 64. I still feel like the 16 when I play <laughs> this thing. You know, this uh, my children play with me. <laughs> so they say, Papa, you give really competitive fight to us. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for the company. Hey, it's all, all God's grace. Yes, yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, friends. Any more questions? We'll be happy to take. We have a couple of minutes left to close the session. One more minute to go. So, thank you, friends, for joining us today, taking our time and starting. Sunday with sun salutations. Uh, thank you so much, Shruti, for such an awesome session. And thank we look forward to welcoming each one of you in the program uh, starting 21st of August. Uh, you have time till 15th of August to take uh, make your decision. Uh, for those who are watching this on recording also, you would have the numbers. Please connect with us on the numbers. Uh, share the screenshot with us. And we look forward to welcoming you to this awesome, awesome program. Once again, have a wonderful weekend. Unmute yourself and make some noise on your way out. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the lovely session. Thank you. Thank you, Jill, sir. So nice to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you, Shruti. See you. Thank you. Yeah.